One year ago tonight, a gunman opened fire at a concert in Las Vegas, killing 58 people and injuring more than 850. It is the deadliest mass shooting in modern U.S. history. Several dozen Idahoans were at the Route 91 Harvest Festival, including Tara Adams and her husband. I talked with Tara and Jason in Vegas less than 24 hours after the shooting. The fear and shock were still very fresh on their faces. And I'll never forget Tara describing the gunfire that kept raining down on them. When's it going to stop? When's it going to stop? Tara and I talked again earlier today on the News at 4. It's, it's amazing what one year can do, you know, as far as the healing process and moving forward. It doesn't happen easily. You know, definitely therapy, definitely needing the support of family and friends. For Tara Adams, it's the triggers of that night that are hard to overcome. So there's certain sounds, definitely fireworks, the sounds of gunfire, um, seeing people on the dropping to the ground, um, dark, um, crowded places with music. But definitely more than anything, it is the sound. The sound is the most powerful trigger, and it's taken time to move past that. Despite the horrors of that night, she wouldn't miss this weekend's Route 91 Survivor Concert, a private event in Vegas for survivors only. And, and truly, it, there, it was so much, so much, very so, a sense of family, because there are so few people who can really fully relate or understand that type of experience. To, so to be around other people who understood that there was no... Uh, <sighs> You, you just was there was just that instant connection. It's hard to explain, but it was beautiful. Tara shared how the shooting has changed her life on a Facebook post that she read aloud. One of the biggest lessons I've learned, the very best and worst moments of our life are fleeting. Yet we spend so much of our time fearfully dreading and attempting to prevent the worst while obsessing and longing for the best. Ironically, it's all the moments in between that our lives are surpassingly spent and the ones that the majority of us are missing out on. I've discovered a, that it's the moment, it's the wonderment of these ordinary moments that truly make life extraordinary. Folks, I've decided to put my boots on again because they carry both light and darkness, love and hate, kindness and evil on their souls. I don't fear these opposites anymore, for without the searing pain of darkness, I could not fully appreciate the sparkling wonder of light.